Our service of morning prayer will begin on page 79 of the Book of Common Prayer. Grace to you in peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us join together in praying the Jubilati. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms number 41 and 52. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Happy are they who consider the poor and needy. The Lord will deliver them in the time of trouble. The Lord preserves them and keeps them alive so that they may be happy in the land. He does not hand them over to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and ministers to them in their illness. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies are saying wicked things about me. When will he die and his name perish? Even if they come to see me, they speak empty words. Their heart collects false rumors. They go outside and spread them. All my enemies whisper together about me and devise evil against me. A deadly thing, they say, has fastened on him. He has taken to his bed and will never get up again. Even my best friend, whom I trusted, who broke bread with me, has lifted up his heel and turned against me. But you, O Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up, and I shall repay them. By this I know you are pleased with me, that my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity you hold me fast. You shall set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from age to age. Amen. Amen. You 
tyrant, find you most in wickedness, against the godly all day long. You plot ruin, your tongue is like a sharpened razor, a worker of deception. You love evil more than good, and lying more than speaking the truth. You love all words that hurt, O oh, you deceitful tongue. O oh, that God would demolish you utterly, topple you and snatch you from your dwelling, and root you out of the land of the living. The righteous shall see and tremble, and they shall laugh at him, saying, this is the one who did not take God for a refuge, but trusted in great wealth and relied upon wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will give you thanks for what you have done and declare the goodness of your name in the presence of the godly. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. A reading from the book of Joshua, chapter 7, verses 1 through 13. But the Israelites broke faith in regard to the devoted things. Achan, son of Karani, son of Zabdi, son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took some of the devoted things, and the anger of the Lord burned against the Israelites. Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is near beth Aven, east of Bethel, and said to them, Go up and spy out the land. And the men went up and spied out Ayah. Then they returned to Joshua and said to him, Not all the people need to go up. About two or three thousand men should go up and attack Ai. Since they are so few, do not make the whole people toil up there. So about three thousand of the people went up there, and they fled before the men of Ai. The men of Ai killed about thirty-six of them, chasing them from outside the gate as far as Shabarim, and killing them on the slope. The hearts of the people failed and turned to water. Then Joshua tore his clothes and fell to the ground on his face before the ark of the Lord until the evening, he and the elders of Israel, and they put dust on their heads. Joshua said, Ah, oh, Lord God, why have you brought this people across the Jordan at all to hand us over to the Amorites, so to destroy us? Would that we had been content to settle beyond the Jordan. O oh Lord, what can I say, now that Israel has turned their backs on their enemies? The Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land will hear of it and surround us and cut off our name from the earth. Then what will you do for your great name? The Lord said to Joshua, Stand up. Why have you fallen upon your face? Israel has sinned. They have transgressed my covenant that I imposed on them. They have taken some of the devoted things, they have stolen, they have acted deceitfully, and they have put them among their own belongings. Therefore, the Israelites are unable to stand before their enemies. They turn their backs to the enemies because they have become a thing devoted for destruction themselves. I will be with you no more unless you destroy the devoted things from among you. Proceed to sanctify the people and say, sanctify yourselves for tomorrow. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, There are devoted things among you, O Israel. You will be unable to stand before your enemies until you take away the devoted things from among you. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Let's pray together, Canto 9, Etche Deus. 
On page 86 of the Book of Common Prayer. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation, and on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy. For the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. reading from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 13, verses 8 through 14. Oh, no one anything except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know what time it is, how it is now the moment for you to wake from sleep, for salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Let's pray together, Cantable 11, Surajay Illuminati, beginning on page 87 of the Book of Common Prayer. Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear before you. Nations will stream to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 36 through 46. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and two sons of Zebedee, and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. 
and going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping, and he said to Peter, So could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again he went away for the second time and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Let us pray together, Canto 19, Mania e Mirabilia, from page 94 of the Book of Common Prayer. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do your homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. God, whose Spirit guides us into all truth and makes us free. Strengthen and sustain us as you did your servants, Elizabeth, Amelia, Sojourner, and Harriet. Give us vision and courage to stand against oppression and injustice and all that works against the glorious liberty to which you call all your children. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O 
O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, whose spirit, the whole body of your faithful people, is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Welcome to our service of morning prayer here at All Saints in San Francisco. We're so glad you have chosen to worship with us. As you have heard, we are back in Rite 2. We'll stay in Rite 2 for quite a while. Uh, I do not know how long. It'll, when the mood hits me, we'll switch back to enriching our worship or Rite 1. And, um, but Rite 2 will remain the main uh, service we use for morning prayer. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Dear God, we pray for your holy church, for all who minister in her, for all bishops, priests, deacons, pastors, parsons, all lay people leading services. We pray for all the nations of this world, for all those in authority. May they be guided to just and moral decisions through your love and your wisdom. Oh God, we pray for the poor, the sick, the homeless, the hungry, the needy, for those in prison. We pray for the unemployed and for those facing financial insecurity. We pray for all those suffering from COVID-19 and all who are concerned about it. We pray for Janie, Mana, Fred, Rose, Aster, Shepard, Johnny, Teresa, Richard, and Roger. We pray for the souls of all the departed. We pray for all those who have passed away from COVID-19. We pray for George, Brianna, Ahmad, Rashard, Elijah, for any and all who have died, been killed, been murdered, been executed because of racial bias, bigotry, hatred, or indifference. Pray for Charlie, Johnny, Richard, Robert, Daniel, and Vicky. Dear God, we pray for the concerns of this community, of all those we hold dear in our heart. We pray for all government workers, medical workers, frontline workers, grocery store workers, truck drivers, emergency personnel, all those who are working to keep us healthy, safe, and fed. Pray for Polly, Shirley, Bill, Fred, John, Richard, the Harris family, the Altamuras, the Avilas, the Alos, the Zendejas, Fran, Mina, Steph, Aragunda Marx, Jim and his family. We pray for all those suffering from addiction. May they maintain their sobriety. We pray for all who are estranged from family and loved ones. May they be reunited under your law. We pray that in this time of need, we may join together through the love and grace of Jesus Christ in kindness and gratitude and find a time of rebirth and recovery. Dear God, we give you thanks for all the blessings of this life. We thank you for this community here at All Saints. Give, th give thanks for our interim rector, Beth, our music director, Bill, our office administrator, Augustine. We thank you for our lay leadership. We give thanks for the Saturday morning food program, praying to you for those who are fed by it, giving thanks for its volunteers, and asking that this ministry may begin again soon. And we pray for the San Francisco Health Care Home, giving thanks for the medical staff and personnel who work there, praying for those who dwell there, giving thanks for the volunteers who serve in this ministry, and praying that this ministry also may begin again soon. 
Most of all, great God, we give you thanks for this great, wonderful, marvelous gift of creation. May we become faithful stewards of this great gift. For whom and for what else shall we pray? Let us join together all our prayers in the general thanksgiving found on page 101 of the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised for your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forevermore. Amen.